What's going on guys, my name's Simon and welcome back to another episode of Will It Rally. In this episode we'll be taking this Shelby Cobra around a rally stage. Yes, this car is absolutely insane. It has a lot of torque, a lot of horsepower, decent top speed and these big chunky rear tyres that you see there. They, that is pretty much all the grip that this car has. You may remember this car if you are an avid uh, Simon SNB follower. This car featured in my very first ever YouTube video, Shelby Cobra Drifting at Silverstone. I do apologise if you saw that video because it was absolutely terrible. Would you believe it? That video actually took me about two hours to edit because I was completely new to everything. But anyways, enough nostalgia. Let's get straight into it. Right, so here we are at the start line in the Shelby Cobra. I've just realised, even just stopping at... Uh, at the start line that this car has cheesecake for brakes so we're gonna have to be very careful but without further ado three two and a one let's go there we go plenty of wheel spin off the line as you'd expect from this car and we've absolutely cream cracked it straight into a uh, WRC board there we've managed to cut the course somehow some way not quite sure how that's oversteer and there's a lot of it so we're going to have to be very careful. The rear tyre is already heated up sheerly from the amount of wheel spin. I'm not sure if sheerly is a word. It certainly is now because I have used it. There's 90 k's on this straight. Well, sort of straight. It's about as straight as you can get for a rally course. And there's down to first gear. All four tyres heated up. Now this car is very chunky and wide and very sort of monstrous in its demeanour. There's 80 k's. This car is exceptionally fast. It doesn't feel it, but my word, it definitely feels fast when you're trying to stop. This car, two things it doesn't do particularly well is traction and braking. It has zero traction. There's 130 k's on that straight. There's first gear braking extremely cautiously as we turn it in. This is an absolute cruise as we get up on that ridge there fly through what seems to be a floating tree there which is well questionable at best as we now get a bit of oversteer there but nothing too much to worry about as we get oversteer on a straight from doing literally nothing I don't think we're gonna break third gear this whole course folks there's first and uh, get a bit of wheel spin there on the exit just to sort of help rotate us gonna have to be very careful coming over here 50 k's, there's 60 k's, 70, 75 k's we took that out and it was still, well, not particularly stable. Just keep the steering straight over those jumps. I was so focused on keeping the steering straight that I didn't realise we were oversteering massively. Second gear, over the ridge, brake about now. First gear, get it slowed. Probably uh, locked the uh, tyres there, hit the uh, stack of logs for good measure. This car is absolutely insane, folks. I can't express in words how interesting this has been to drive so far, to put it well, in a nice way. This is, oh my word. Come on, save it. There we go. That's what we want. Oh, that's not what we want. That isn't what we want. No, go away, please. I don't want you. Yee, 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 yee. This car is absolutely insane as we hit that uh, that barrier there, the barrier that nearly, well, the barrier that did kill us in uh, the last episode in the go-kart. I'm um, getting so much oversteer and it's only second gear, for goodness sake. We're gonna hit that, uh, that barrier, so we're gonna be left reversing out of that. Come on now. Oh, what was that? What was that to the average Tom, Dick or Harry? I have no idea. Oh, we've bounced again. We've bounced again and it's a horrible, horrible crash. Not quite sure what's gone on there, but we've got broken suspension. And, well, let's get a replay of that straight away. So here we are coming uh, up to the sort of fence that we hit there. There we go. Absolutely ruining the Shelby Cobra. And now coming up to uh, the absolute jump fest McGee. Uh, fence, which we just slightly tap, you know, slight tap, you know, should be able to reverse out of that. We have probably broken the suspension there and then. We sort of jump up a bit and then 
uh, we sort of get stuck there, try and reverse, well actually try and pull forward and then we're just left absolutely bouncing like we're at a teenage disco, which is not ideal. So we're going to have to restart that for the second time in two videos. I am really rushing to get these finished because I need to. So there we go. We're just going to do a rolling start because I am in no mood to wait. Oh dear. Come on, turn it. There we go. Just use the barriers to deflect the car in whatever direction you want it to go in. There we go. That's the stuff. I'm not even at half throttle and the car is just losing its mind. Oh, what's happened there? That's absolutely awful. Truly awful there is what that is. Now, coming along, well, this straight, trying to regain my composure. We're going to hit that, and we've spun out. And that's an absolute horror story. Get it spun. There we go. That's what I love about road cars. They have so much steering lock to use. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There we go. There we go. That's not ideal, but we're just going to use it. We're going to short shift to third. Now fourth. I've just got one hand on the gear stick, one hand on the steering wheel. And the hand on the steering wheel is quite sore. Because I was doing stuff and things yesterday, and now it's sore. So upon listening to that back during editing, I would just like to apologise for the seemingly uh, extremely sexual innuendo that I appear to have made there. Trust me, it was not intended to come out like that. And uh, for this, I can only apologise. Uh, we've completely just mounted that crest but I've brushed over it for reasons of my own voice because it is not in the healthiest state at the minute after recording two videos of Will It Rally, one after the other. And, well, we'll see what happens now coming through this complex. What's happened is uh, a huge crash uh, that's happened in the slowest way possible now as we've nearly spun out, try and regain the control of the car, which is, well, regaining control would be a uh, incorrect word to use because I never had control in the first place of this car. That is full throttle for a millisecond. Now we've absolutely smashed that barrier. We're going to get it into first gear and just spin the wheels to the high heavens We've gone off-road massively, but we're going to just carry on the video either way. We've spent more time off the course than we have on it, so that's never a good sign. You know what, we're just going to, we're just going to, if we if we end up back on the course, then that's fine, but I'm fine with just being just totally off the course. This track seems to be quite glitchy when it comes to collisions, uh, as we saw in both the last episode and the episode before that. Well, no, this episode and the last episode. Maybe the episode before that as well. I don't remember what that one was because I haven't recorded Will It Rally in quite a long time. Oh, dear. That's a ditch that we don't want to be in, as is that. And now, as we try and regain our composure, uh, which we never had in the first place, so it would be impossible to regain it. Oh, dearie me. Regain it, Simon. Regain it. Regain it. I know you never had it, but regain, regain it anyways. Just second gear. Cruise. Honestly, just cruise. Use all the steering lock available to you. There we go. That's that's nice. Now we're going to have to be very careful coming up to this section here as we get a massive load of oversteer. Oh, dear. That's not ideal. Nor is that. Break. Don't hit that because you'll only die out of that. Casual three-point turn. No problemo whatsoever. Absolutely fought, floored the throttle there. And had to compensate with it. Quite a lot of uh, ooh, dearie me. We're going to be absolutely nowhere because we're three minutes already and we're well, behind the go-kart because this thing is just impossible to control. You're probably going to be able to hear my force feedback just going absolutely nuts in the background because of the amount of lock I'm putting into the steering. Just hit that square on so you don't die, honestly. Right, first gear. Let's go full beans on the uh, 
throttle and we've spun out which is never a good sign uh, trying to compensate that by getting back on the track but it doesn't seem to want to uh, let us now as we uh, you know what I'm just going to go like maybe a third throttle not even that maybe one eighth on the throttle this is this is the speed we're going to maintain for the rest of the stage okay folks we're just going to keep it in first gear there we go that's nice now we're going to short shift to second gear there we go nice cruise I was about to say well I did say nice cruise and then it went absolutely well I'm not going to use the word that I was going to use but it went very badly that's for certain now as we get a little bit carried away 129 kilometers an hour as I glance down at my screen we've absolutely tanked that uh, that dry stone wall on the right and oh dearie me we've got all out of shape bang that's not gone well now we're gonna have to reverse oh I've just smacked my hand off my gear stick and it was quite painful right I have a feeling we're gonna have to use the oversteer to our advantage here as we try and get around these corners here full lock just blast the uh, the throttle there oh and we've we this this track is just so glitchy it's absolutely ridiculous now we're facing the wrong direction and we're losing massive amounts of time so now as we hit that try and get it turned around actually we're just gonna have to sort of floor the throttle now as we put it in reverse there this is absolutely abhorrent and we've ground the gearbox to absolute dust ashes to ashes dust to dust as they say at funerals and now after a 16 point turn we are finally back on the road and it was all the oversteer's fault and definitely not mine in fact we're just gonna have to we're taking this corner at 28 kilometers per hour at best short shift to second actually I'm just gonna put it straight up to fourth first time I've been full throttle on this entire course at, uh, at this present time and we're still getting oversteered despite being nowhere near the top of the rev range in fourth gear of all gears there's fifth that it has no fifth gear it only has four gears which is very interesting so now as we come over this crest and well we're probably in the, well we're apparently in the third sector based on what I'm seeing there now, I think we're just going to carry fourth gear for the whole rest of the stage, folks, because it is the only sort of stable gear. I need to stay off of that verge because it's absolute death if I get on it. Under the Red Bull inflatable, and I've lost it. I've lost it because I was... Oh, dear. My voice just cracked massively, but that's not our problem at the minute. Oh, Lord. This is... Yeah, that's... That's a problem. That is definitely a problem. Um, I am going to say that the Shelby Cobra was a DNF uh, in my books because I have pretty much ran out of time to record this video. We may come back to this challenge uh, in another episode. I might retry it. But uh, for now, the Shelby Cobra is going to be a DNF. Uh, for will it rally so I do hope you enjoyed this video you probably didn't but if you did well at least one person did and uh, if you did then please do leave a like and feel free to subscribe but apart from that my name has been Simon and I'll see you guys in the next video that was an absolute disgrace